Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how you can concatenate multiple rows into one single cell. For example, I have two different tables over here. The first table here contains the student information like student ID, last name, first name and their gender. And the second table over here which has the student ID and the subjects that particular student has been studying. Now, in case the of the first student ID over here, which is one, there are four different subjects. Now, let's say the requirement is to add all of these subjects to this particular table over here. And along with that also maintain just one single row. So when I so basically I have a relationship between the students info table and the student subject table over here. And when I bring in the subject into the student's information table over here, you will see that the records from the student information table over here are repeating because we have multiple subjects, right? Now the requirement here is that I need to have one single row for every student ID, but their subjects need to appear on new lines in one single cell itself. Now to show you visually what is it that I'm trying to achieve over here, I have a little screenshot that I have taken. So basically what I want is I want the student ID, their respective details to appear in one single row along with all of their subjects here, which appear as a new line in that particular cell itself. So let's see how we can do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. Let's head over to the Power Query editor now. And what I'm gonna do here is this is my table, which is student subject. And this is where all the multiple rows are existing and we need to transform this particular table. So what I will do is I will create a reference to this table. I'm gonna create a new table over here. I'm gonna call this as subjects um, concat, all right? And now what I will do is I'm going to go here to the transform tab. I'm going to click on group by. So under this group by, I'm going to click on advanced over here. So since I have only two columns over here and I want to group by student ID. Now, let's say if you have multiple columns, you can group by those multiple columns as well. You can click on add grouping and select the column that you would want to group by and then continue with that. But since I only have these two columns in my case, I'm going to select student ID because I want to group by student ID. And then on the new column name, I'm going to say subject underscore concat. And on the operations over here, this is where I need to select all rows instead of any other operations over here. I'm going to say all rows and then I'm going to click on OK. So when you do that, you will see a column appearing like this. Now, without expanding this particular table, what we will do is we will go to the add column over here and click on custom column. Let's give it a name to this particular column. I'm going to call this as concat underscore subjects is equals to table dot column. I'm going to open brackets over here. It's asking us to enter the table name. The table name here is going to be the name of this particular column that we have over here, which is subject underscore concat. So I'm going to write subject underscore concat followed by a comma. And then it's asking us to enter the column name within that particular table, which is subject underscore concat. Now the column name is nothing but the column, the subject that we have in our table. This is the column name that we had in this table. We had student ID and subject. So this is that particular column name over here. I'm going to close the bracket here and then click on OK. Now you will see that we've now converted so when I click on this table over here, you will see that this is the column name that I entered there. Now, if I go back, what we just did was we converted the table here into a list. So when I click on list, you will see something like this, but still this is not making any sense to us. So now what we will do is I'm going to click on these arrows over here. Now, there are two options here for us to select from expand to new rows and then extract values. We're going to say extract values. So when we click on extract values, we get a option over here which says select a delimiter to use for concatenating list values and from this drop down over here I'm going to select custom and then check this box which says concatenate using special characters and from this drop down let's select carriage return and line feed so what this basically does is it takes the new subject and brings it into a new line and then I'm going to click on ok 
And now you will see that the subjects have started appearing in one single cell and all the subjects are appearing on a new line within that particular cell. Now I don't really need to have this particular column. I'm going to right click and select remove and now I only have my student ID and CONCAT subjects column over here and now I'm going to click on close and apply. So once I've done that, so let me go back to my relationship view and Power BI has automatically created the relationship between these two tables. If this has not, then you can create the relationship manually. And now if I go back over here and go to my data tab and bring in the contact subjects into my table and get rid of the other subject that I have from the other table. And now you will see that I only have 20 rows in my table and there is each one row for each student and all of their subjects mentioned over here in one single cell. So this is how you can concatenate multiple rows into one single cell within the Power Query. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.